Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to express f of x as 4a series of the period 2 pi in the interval 0, 2 pi and we are going to deduce the sum of the series. The expansion formula for the 4a series is f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity bn sin nx. Now to find a naught we have to use 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx. So this is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi pi minus x whole square dx and when we integrate pi minus x whole square it becomes pi minus x whole cube by 3 and there is a coefficient for x which is minus 1 so we divide by that minus 1 so denominator is minus 3 and we have a limit 0 to 2 pi so we are going to apply the limit and this minus 3 can be taken outside. When I put upper limit, pi minus 2 pi whole cube minus pi minus 0 whole cube. So this becomes 1 by minus 3 pi. Pi minus 2 pi is minus pi whole cube and second term is minus pi cube and minus pi whole cube is itself minus pi cube. Second term is minus pi cube. Combining that we get minus 2 pi cube by minus 3 pi. After cancelling this we get 2 pi square by 3. So a naught is 2 pi square by 3. Coming to a n. The formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x cos nx dx. So 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi pi minus x whole square into cos nx dx. Now we are going to use Bernoulli's formula which is u v dx is u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus dot dot dot. So here we have this as u and v. Now from this u dash is 2 into pi minus x into minus 1 so we get a minus here u double dash is minus 2 into minus 1 which is 2 u triple dash is 0 and now v1 integration of cos nx is sin nx and there is a coefficient n for x so we have to divide by that v2 is minus cos nx by n square because already there is one n and we are dividing by n so it is n square. Similarly v3 this integration is minus sin nx by n cube. Now substituting all these things in the Bernoulli's formula a n becomes we have 1 by pi u which is pi minus x whole square into v1 which is sin nx by n minus u dash already there is a minus 2 so we make this as plus 2 into pi minus x v2 we have minus cos nx by n square plus u double dash which is 2 and v3 is minus sin nx by n cube and we have the limit 0 to 2 pi. Now applying the upper limit we have 
an equal to 1 by pi. When I apply the upper limit, first term, we have sin n x. So that will become sin n into 2 pi and this becomes 0. Whenever there is cos n into 2 pi, this becomes 1. So first term is 0. Second term, when I put 2 pi here, pi minus 2 pi is minus pi and this is minus 1 by n square. That is a minus sign and cos n 2 pi is 1. And again, the third term is 0 because of sin n x. When I put 2 pi, we get sin n into 2 pi. Then coming to the lower limit, first term is 0 because sin 0 is 0. Second term, it is 2 pi into minus 1 by n square. And last term is 0 because there is a sign term. So totally, we completed the upper limit and lower limit. And this further simplifying 1 by pi this is 2 pi by n square and again this become plus plus 2 pi by n square totally this is 4 pi by pi n square after cancelling pi n by we left with a n s 4 by n square. Now coming to b n 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into sin n x dx. Now this is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi pi minus x whole square into sin nx dx. So again, we are going to use the Bernoulli's formula which is integral u v dx is u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus u triple dash v4 plus dot 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 and here this is u and this is v. So u dash is 2 times of pi minus x into minus 1. So we keep the minus here. u double dash is minus 2 into minus 1. So it is plus 2. u triple dash is differentiation of 2. This is a constant. So 0. v1. This integration is minus cos nx by n. v2 is minus sin nx by n square v3 is cos nx by n cube. So we are done successive integration. Then applying all these things in this formula bn is 1 by pi integral actually we can open a bracket and uv1 u is pi minus x whole square v1 is minus cos nx by n minus u dash which is minus 2 times already there is a minus sign so we can make plus 2 into pi minus x v2 is minus sin nx by n square then plus u double dash is 2 v3 is cos nx by n cube we have 0 to 2 pi so when I substitute the upper limit first term is pi minus 2 pi that will be minus pi whole square which is pi square and there is a minus sign and cos n into 2 pi is 1 and we have by n Second term is 0 because we have sin nx. So sin n into 2 by 0. And the last term is 2 by n cube because cos n into 2 by is 1 and we have 2 by n cube. Minus, when I put the lower limit, first term is pi square because here I have to put 0. When I put 0 here, we left with only minus 1. So minus 1 by n. And again sin term is there, so this becomes 0. And here it becomes 2 by n cube. So after finishing the lower limit, we just simplify the further terms. 
and we notice everything gets cancelled. This is pi square by n plus 2 by n cube minus into minus plus pi square by n and this is minus 2 by n cube. So these two gets cancelled and again these two gets cancelled. So totally this is 0. So dn is 0. Now we are going to substitute this in the first formula f of x. f of x is a0 by 2. A0 is 2 pi square by 3. So when I divide by 2, we get pi square by 3 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity an. An is 4 by n square. So 4 by n square into cos nx. And bn is 0, so no need to write the last term. So this is our Fourier expansion for the given function. Now to deduce the summation of the given series, we have to take x as 0. It means f of 0 equal to pi square by 3 plus 4 can be taken outside sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square cos n into 0 is cos 0 which is 1. And now this is pi minus x whole square. So pi minus 0 whole square equal to pi square by 3. f of x is pi minus x whole square. So we put x as 0. And this is 4 into 1 by n square. Summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity. So totally this is pi square. And this pi square by 3 we can take it here. So pi square by 3 equal to 4 bracket open. This when I expand the summation 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square we substitute the value of n dot 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 keep going. Now this pi square minus pi square by 3 after taking LCM 2 pi square by 3 and this 4 will come to the denominator of the other side and we get 1 by 1 square 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus dot dot dot. Now the value of 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus dot 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 is after cancelling these two the denominator becomes 6. So pi square by 6. So we got the second part they are asking to deduce the value of this summation. Let's check the question. That is 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square. And we got it as pi square by 6.